Now that we know how to use color layers in combination with distribution layers and effects to design the materials of a terrain, let's take a look at how we can elevate colors to the next level by using gradients. Just like when we added a color layer, we can add a gradient layer by clicking the plus icon to specify a new material layer type. In the gradient properties panel, the material settings section is the same common adjustments as with color, but now we have a gradient section. Below the preview box, we can choose between picking a gradient range, importing a custom gradient range, exporting one you've created here, or deleting the range and starting over. Let's choose to pick a custom gradient. As the instructions say on screen, we can essentially record a range of colors where our mouse is located on your monitor. This is just like the color picker tool, but this will record the colors as you move the mouse. So I have a still image here on screen of a variety of colors from the I am film. With my mouse over the image, hold control and move the mouse to record the strokes of colors you'd like to capture. Then once you have finished, you can release the control key and click with your mouse to accept the colors or to retry from scratch, just press R. Once you've accepted the color path, you'll see the gradient preview box has been populated with the range of colors you recorded. Right now, the landscape is just a solid color that is essentially the average of all the gradient values in this preview box. The next step is to select a gradient type, which in turn controls how the gradient will then be distributed on the terrain. These different types are just presets of different distribution rules and effects established for you so you can simply jump right into adjusting the various settings between these presets quick and easy. However, if you want to create your own custom set of rules, seemingly create your own style, you can choose the custom option. With this option adds a new custom gradient distribution layer. This layer allows you to customize the distribution rules and effects that governs the distribution of the colors within the gradient. Don't get that confused with the distribution layer that governs the gradient material as a whole, which relates to the other materials you have in the material stack. The custom gradient layer lets you just control the design of the colors within the range of the gradient. With these colors, adding a roll like flow within the custom gradient layer lets the gradient spread throughout the flow distribution mask, or smoothing things out with some denoising effect. And remember, adding rules to the main distribution layer will control the gradient material layer, giving you further refinements for your custom gradients. With enough variety in different gradients blended together, the possibilities to what combinations you create are near endless. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.